No stalling, I'ma pull it off God put you in my life for a purpose And we might fuss and fight, but it's worth it I put them out like a light. Holes on me, left and right. Glow, I put them out like a Holes on me, left and right. Glow, I put them out like a light. Cool, tinted like a thief in the night. Gang on, he don't put up a fight. Fuck, fuck on your bitch. Nikki Lane. Uh. Nikki Lane. Yeah. yeah. Nikki Lane. Yeah. Girl, I can be your Sneaky Lane. Sneaky Lane. You my Sneaky Lane. Sneaky Lane. Yeah. Things you need to know about each zodiac sign before catching feelings part two. If you're crushing on a Libra, join the club. Libras are just one of those signs that gets a ton of attention, but they really don't take flirting seriously unless they're really into the person. A Libra is usually one of those people that is inseparable with their partners. They're usually attracted to people with a down-to-earth attitude and that have interesting quirks. Libras are usually really good gift givers to their significant other, and they're the perfect date for amusement parks, hikes, trips, things like that. You'll just have to get over the fact that every time they speak, it comes off as flirting. If you're interested in a Scorpio, don't be scared. I feel like Scorpios are represented the most unfair when it comes to relationships. Very rarely can you see it on the surface, but Scorpios are very intuitive and emotional beings. They'll probably act really nonchalant with you at first, and they might even come off like they're not taking you serious. But usually Scorpios just need time to figure out what your true intentions are. So it's important that you show them that they're safe with you and be transparent about what your intentions are. Once they're comfortable, they're pretty calm but sentimental lovers. I would not recommend dating a Sagittarius if you are overly sensitive. Sagittarius are practical, happy-go-lucky signs. They don't have patience for Debbie Downers or people that can't take a joke. They're very strong and independent and they require a lot of freedom. They're usually very devoted in their relationships. And they're very good at reciprocating energy, but they will tease the shit out of you. If you fall for a Capricorn, just know you're probably gonna have to work around their schedule. Capricorns are always prioritizing their stability and their work. How hard Capricorns work is a big part of how valuable they feel they are. They're natural providers and although they can be intimidating, they usually feel very comforting. They're usually very flirtatious and good at giving compliments, but not so good at emotionally opening up when it comes to real conversations. And they can at times be a little manipulative with their words, but once they truly fall for somebody, it's usually for a long time. The first rule when it comes to dating an Aquarius is do not lie. There is no coming back from it if you do, and they will make sure that you know that they found out. They're not likely to overreact over little things, and they're usually pretty logical and understanding. However, if you're the kind of person that reacts and argues with a lot of emotion, you're gonna have to put that away because they won't deal with it. Aquariuses also need direct communication. Nothing is ever assumed. They always need a direct invitation. If you can stick it out until they feel safe with you, they're very devoted lovers. Falling for a Pisces should feel like a goddamn fairy tale because that's what they expect. It's not that it has to be an unrealistic fantasy, it's just that they crave deep connections. But at the same time, they have no problem pushing people away when it's just surface level bullshit. If you can't think outside of the box or be emotionally vulnerable, they're probably not for you. When they're in love, they're fiercely loyal. They will go to hell and back for their significant other. Just remember, their gift of empathy can make you feel really good, but when the time comes, it could also make you feel really bad. I found you, girl, I like being around you. Duh. Answer is out. Like my comment of the sign you would like to be out next.
who's the daddy? I, I, I graduate with honors. I ball Nate O'Connor. I did a freestyle, then I got a shout out from Obama. Yes, yes, I am ill. I going for the kill. I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to tell me how to live. I'm a boss. I'm a bitch and a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a bitch. I'm a boss. I'm a bitch. I'm a Virgo has been eliminated. Like the comment of the sign you want out next. This is going to be my perception on how the signs handle arguments. The do's, the don'ts, and the really annoying. Please keep in mind, although all of my videos are based off of things that I have studied about astrology, it's still my opinion, it's just for fun, and all my videos can always apply to all of your major placements. Also, as a general reminder, it's okay to laugh at yourself. Don't take it so serious. Anyways, moving right along, starting with Aries. If you're arguing with an Aries, just know that the emotions are being brought into it. There's passion, heat, and fire. They're gonna yell before they're even angry. Talking over them is a recipe for disaster. They might fucking cry, to be honest. They also might hate you. 
The good thing about arguing with an Aries, though, is that they get over shit really quick. They get real mad, and then they get real over it. Aries also hate when people succumb to silly insults or be bullies when they argue. Just say what you mean and mean what you say. And give a shit about what you're arguing about. If you don't even care, you're definitely going to make an Aries mad. Also, do not insult their intelligence. All right, next up is Tauruses. Tauruses have this amazing skill where well, they will bring the least amount of evidence or the weakest argument to the argument and somehow make you feel stupid. Like, a Taurus could be arguing with somebody who has spent their entire life studying whatever subject that they're arguing over and they could just be like, well, my mommy said so. And literally just, people will just succumb and just admit defeat and I just it's a it's a skill Tauruses can you teach me please I have like no Taurus placements I have no idea how you do it when Tauruses are pissed they're pissed but you know what sucks is that Tauruses are that sign that's like well I'm not mad I'm disappointed and they will not back down from the fight but they will hurt over it they're emotional little creatures all right up next is Gemini now coming from somebody who was raised by a Gemini father has a Gemini brother and whose best friend is a Gemini I'm just gonna let you know right now, if you're going to argue with a Gemini, don't. And it's not even because they have master communication skills, they do, or because they know everything about everything, which a lot of the time they do. The problem is, is that even if they are dead ass wrong and you can prove them wrong without a shadow of a doubt, cold hard facts, they don't give a shit. They will literally still be like, well, somehow I'm right. It's infuriating. And if you have made it to the end of a Gemini argument and you have proved your point and you feel like the victor, then let me just let you know right now, they do not see you that way. By that point, Gemini already knows that they're actually wrong. Now the whole goal was to just get a rise out of you and you're probably huffing and puffing and they're probably sitting there smug and you probably want to smack the smile off their face. 